Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Stylish Hobby, and where I put together an outfit with shoes that just released. And today we're going to be talking about the Yeezy 500 and Inflame that released originally on the April the 24th, but got pushed back for May the 8th. And they did release for $200 on most um, foot size as well as the Adidas Confirms app. I got lucky enough to enter the raffle on SNS.com and I was lucky enough to get a W. I was so excited because lately I haven't been copying pairs of Yeezys for retail price. Usually I have to pay over resale. So I was really grateful and happy and overjoyed um, of the fact that I got them for um, retail price of $200. So getting into um, my opinions and uh, the materials on the shoe, as you guys can see, it is very, very different. Um, not like the traditional 500s that usually released. I believe the last pair of 500s that did release were the restock for the Utility Black. And then they also did release the Sand colorway. So usually these, um, this silhouette usually releases on solid colors and more like natural colors like the sand colorway, bone, soft visions, which I also have in my collection, as well as the utility black and the blush colorway. So this colorway was very different. A lot of people were a little skeptical about it, um, myself included, just because of the different colors and that vibrant orange that it does have. It's kind of like a salmon color, which in my opinion, seeing them in hand, I really, really like them just because they're very different and they're much more versatile when it comes to picking out a fit for these shoes. Um, I did actually see a guy on Instagram uh, wearing his fit with these shoes and I loved the fact that he chose the navy blue top with some light blue jeans and it looked really, really nice. I love the way that that, that look looked that fit so anyway I'm um, getting right into it as you guys can see on the uh, lateral side of the shoe on the upper it has this beautiful nice um, suede material on the shoe in this nice sand I would say kind of like blush um, tannish nudish uh, color and it's really nice because I love the fact that they went for this neutral color and then they hit you with that nice vibrant salmon color or whatever you want to call it on the midsole as well as on the outsole. Um, as you guys notice on the midsole on the lateral side, it has the uh, ID Preen um, branding on this side of the rubber. And then going on to the upper, as you guys notice, it has this nice brown mesh, which I thought looked really nice while put together with that nice salmon orange as well as this nice uh, nude brownish tannish color. And then they also gave it hints of uh, navy blue, which overall I think it looks really great. I would not I would have never thought that these colors put, put together would look so nice. I love them. And then getting into the top portion of the shoe, as you guys notice, it has the nice mesh on the tongue, in that nice brown color, as well as the navy blue laces. And it also, I also noticed that it has on the actual tongue, um, it has this nice leather material as well, like a nice uh, leather design on it. And then getting onto the insole as well as the sock liner is this nice brown colorway. And then it has the Yeezy branding as well as the Adidas um, branding in the insole. So yeah, guys, um, that's basically just it when it comes to the materials and the detailing of the shoe. Um, I really love the laces, how nice it looks with the navy blue. These didn't come with extra pairs of laces, but I was okay and I was fine with that just because um, I would have never changed the laces anyway. I would have left them just as, as they are. Um, I just love the way it turned out. I love the way it looks. And yeah, they're very comfortable. Um, I must say go to true to size just because they don't run big. They don't run small. They're just, they're just a little narrow in the front. So if you are, if you do have wide feet, I would always recommend to go a half size up. But in my opinion, if you have no problems with your shoes, um, I will go true to size. Um, this is actually a size nine and a half which is my regular sizing in Yeezys. So, and they fit really comfortable and really well, and I really love them. Um, they also did release the high version of this colorway, but those have a different name. Those are actually called tactile orange. And in my opinion, I rather, um, I would have rather cop this pair than those, just because these I feel like are more useful for these time of the months. Um, we are getting into summer. 
So I feel like these are more versatile. You could wear them with shorts. You could wear them with long jeans. Um, comparing them to the high version of them, you can only, I would say, you can only wear them with jeans or like long pants. So I think these are more versatile and you have more options when it comes to your fits. So yeah, guys, that's my overall opinion and detail on the shoe. Now moving along onto the outfit that I chose. Um, I did go ahead and wore a hoodie with this outfit. Um, I really love this hoodie. I love the color. I thought it was perfect. And I actually got this um, on the Undefeated website. And as you guys notice, it's just the hoodie with the nice string tie with the Undefeated logo in black in the front. Long sleeve as well as the Undefeated logo in the back. So in black as well. So let me know what you guys think if I chose the um, right color for these shoes it was a little hard to find a color that matched perfect with that nice salmon colored midsole um but i think i pulled it off what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below if um i did good when it came to the color of the hoodie and then i loved the color of the hoodie so much that i had to get the short short sleeve shirt and i actually have not even opened it yet um, I will be using this in the summer months. Um, I think it'll be much better than the hoodie just because the hoodie, you know, you're going to sweat, you're going to get hot. So I just had to get the short sleeve version of this um, color and it's just the same. It has the nice graphic in the front and I believe it has the graphic in the back as well. I'm not too sure. So yeah, guys, and I think I paid like $110, $120. I'm not too sure. I don't remember for the hoodie. And then for the t-shirt, I'm not too sure how much I paid for it. I don't remember. Guys, I buy so much stuff. I have an addiction. I, I lose track of the prices. So um, I will be leaving the prices down below if you guys are interested in purchasing these items. So then moving along onto the jeans, um, I did choose these nice American Eagle jeans and this is a nice medium wash and these are actually um, high rise and they have the distress in the front and I thought it went really well. I actually wore um, some thermals underneath because the day of my fit it was a little cold so I didn't want to go all out and not wear anything under and it turned out really well. I'll be leaving my b-rolls on the outfit that I chose and how it looked overall and yeah guys um let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys prefer these over the tactile orange the highs um like i've said before i'd rather I, i'm happy that i got this pair because they're low and like i said i can make more use of them now in the summer months so yeah guys that'll be it for my um review and uh detailed description on this shoe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe until my next video.